Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul. Through their intercession and prayers, we ask the grace for fervent support and constant prayers for our church leaders that all of us may continue the mission God has entrusted each and every one of us. And so let us acknowledge our sins and beg the Lord for His mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise, praise you, you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of, of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With, with the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your Church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. 
And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the feast of unleavened bread. He had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly! The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, Now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued 
from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist. Others, Elijah, still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven." Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When we see pillars in a particular building or edifice, we are assured that it is firm, deeply grounded, and solid. But as time goes by, every pillar would need consequent updating, retrofitting, and strengthening of support. Just like what we did some 10 years ago when we closed this cathedral for repairs so as to strengthen not only the pillars but the whole of this cathedral church. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, many church authors and we even acknowledge these two as pillars of the church. As pillars of the church, we expect that they should be firm, deeply grounded, and solid. But we know very well their story. We know how Peter was so faithless and once denied the Lord. We know how St. Paul, before becoming a, a believer, was known to kill the followers of the Lord. We can even cite many Bible stories and experiences how they lived. We can even doubt their being pillar just by seeing how they lived. Baka nga po, Masabi po natin sa mga ito, eh bakit ako sasandal sa mga taong iyan? 
kaduda-duda yung kanilang buhay. Mahihina, walang kwenta, walang lalim, mga marurupok na tao. Like many pillars, like how St. Peter, when he was still living and was imprisoned, he was supported by the fervent prayers of the community. Like how St. Paul himself once needed assistance, they needed support, they needed strength in times of weakness. They needed a shoulder stop so that in times of giving up, they can all rise up. In this time of our church, my dear friends, we recognize the many pillars of our faith. To them, firstly, we express our sincerest gratitude for they, were, they also made the foundations of our faith and our prayer life. But sometimes, they also fail. They also need some refurbishing, retrofitting. They also needed a renewal of their strength. That is why, like what Paul and Peter experienced, they, all of us, we needed fervent and constant prayers and support. Ilan po ba sa atin ngayon na kapag nalaman na si Father natututo pa lang sa management, yung pastoral leader namin medyo hindi pa assertive, yung katikista namin bulol magsalita, how many of us, whenever we would hear or experience such, would be fervent in praying for them and even constant in assisting and supporting them? Because mind you, my dear brothers and sisters, we may come across with men and women who, after seeing the defects of their leaders, their pillars, would splurge and time and effort to despise and even mean something bad to them. Alam na ngang may kahinaan din, pero sige pa din sa pagbabash. Alam na ngang marupok na din, pero walang ginawang paraan o nila ang oras para maipagdasal naman tong taong ito sa simbahan. Alam na ngang nangangailangan din ng paggabay Pero ang gusto ng ibang mga tao, aabangan ang pagbagsak at pagkasira ng taong ito. Our modern day Peter and Paul, our pillars, would also need fervent prayers and constant support. Enough with those who would dampen the willingness to serve. But now encourage the spirit of lifting up and deepening the courage to everyone. My dear brothers and sisters, may the life, of, may the life and experiences of Peter and Paul inspire all of us that after seeing the needs and even insufficiencies of our pillars, may our fervent prayers and support lift them up, inspire them once again, and assure them once again to continue the mission God has given to them and to each one of us. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We bring our intentions to the Father with that same faith of Apostles Peter and Paul, with the faith of the fishermen on whom the church is built, and the faith of the teacher of so many nations. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis, successor of Saint Peter, may bear the keys of the kingdom with wisdom and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries in foreign lands may have the zeal which St. Paul had in bringing the good news, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may love our faith and eagerly share it with others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering on account of their faith may find strength in the blood shed by the apostles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be made worthy of the crown of righteousness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, all the prayers of our dear brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming, our prayers for one another, and our own intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, hear the prayers of this community gathered in the faith of the apostles and helped by their intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the prayer of the Apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to, to your name for consecration 
and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, a master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, each in a different way, gathered together the one, to, gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, and forgive and us our trespasses, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for he has made you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession and through it has set you on the solid rock of the church's faith forever and ever. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ forever and ever. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on the cross and Paul by the blade of a sword through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.